Hello and welcome to episode 34 of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, where we're wrapping up the last of the regular side stories, Self Love Part 2. Without any further ado, let's get going. Yes! <clears> okay. <throat> oh, hello. I almost thought you weren't coming today. Yeah, well... Lunch is already more than halfway over. Natsuki had typically been meeting Yuri in the stairwell much earlier, since it had been a good way of dodging her friends when she didn't feel like seeing them. Today, she's holding a la large plastic container in both hands. I ran into my friends, so I hung out with them for a while. Is that so? Yeah... I was in a good mood today, so I figured I should. I hadn't seen them in a while, which I had to come up with an excuse for, but I expected that. Plus, I have way more of these than I know what to do with, so I figured I would share it with them too. As she sits down, Natsuki opens the lid of her container. You made cupcakes. You know it! It's been a while at this point, so I figured it was about time again. You can take one if you want. Yuri takes a cupcake and carefully twirls it between her fingers. It's brown, with dark green frosting immaculately shaped into a floral pattern, and topped with some kind of glittery powder. How pretty. I just ate, so I may not be able to finish it. Are they for the club? Yeah, I guess so. I didn't really think about it. I just made them. Uh, I just thought that because green is Monica's favorite color, right? Well, yeah, but that's not really... Yuri takes a small bite. This is green tea flavored. Mm, dot, dot, dot. I love green tea. Oh, do you? It was just a random idea I wanted to try, so... <laughs> Don't laugh at me! I'm... I'm not... I just felt happy... Oh, sorry... Usually when... Never mind, what I mean is that I'm glad... I'm sorry for saying dumb things again... I just wanted to do something nice... And this is something I happen to be good at. And I do know that you like them from past experience. Mm -hmm. Yuri turns red, recalling the time she treated herself rather generously to Natsuki's cupcakes. Ironically, her mouth is too full of cupcake for her to stammer an excuse, so she just settles for a disapproving look. How did you get into baking? Oh, well, I don't know. It just kind of always appealed to me. Well, a few years ago, I read this one manga with a lot of baking, so I got, like, super into it for a while. I was probably making stuff almost every day. But it's something that I always knew I liked anyway. It's like, baking is like art. But when you get good at it, it gets more delicious, too. I'm struggling to imagine myself putting my heart into something so artistic, knowing that it would just be eaten afterwards. <laughs> Maybe you're too practical for it. I think I prefer to be on the receiving end. That's my other favorite part about it. It's something I can do that makes a lot of people happy. Like, unconditionally. Everyone's always so thankful. And in that moment, you get to be, like, the bringer of joy. I don't know. It just makes me feel... Valued? Yeah, I guess that. So, you were able to make up with your friends today? Hmm? There wasn't really anything to make up with them about. We weren't fighting or anything. You weren't? Maybe I misunderstood. It only turns into a fight if I lose my cool. And that's just unnecessary drama. It only makes things worse. So, they're not going to stop? I mean, it only happens sometimes anyway. 
It's just the way they are. I'm the only one who ever has a problem with it. It's not worth it. Especially since I have somewhere to go now when I don't feel like hanging out with them. Oh... I see. The cupcake's empty foil wrapper audibly crinkles as Yuri clenches a fist. I'm glad the situation is resolved. And that you don't have to avoid them anymore. Yeah, uh, me too. And I don't have to bother you during your alone time anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading to catch up on. Yeah. I know that, that cupcakes are basically nothing compared to all the stuff you've done for me. But it's the best I can do. So you can have the rest of them. Natsuki grabs the box and slides it over to Yuri's feet. Yuri stares at the box. Then she shakes her head and slides them back. You should save them for your other friends. But... I made them for you. Natsuki's voice whines as she protests. I know. And I like them very much. Exactly as you thought. You succeeded. But I know you care about making your other friends happy, too. And if this is the way you know how to make that happen, then... I'm not going to take it from you. No! They were for making you happy! You make me happy. You're worth more than cupcakes to some people. That's why they... want to spend time with you. And be your friend. Without warning, tears pour from Natsuki's eyes. She pulls her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. Natsuki? I'm such a bad person. Uh, um... Yuri stammers, feeling panicked. I didn't mean to say something bad. Natsuki shakes her head and wipes her eyes. You didn't. I just... Natsuki tries to choke back her sobs, but struggles to speak through them. I just really hate myself sometimes, and feel so wrong when you say those nice things to me. Like I don't deserve it! I'm sorry. No, I am! I'm so difficult, and I can't... Think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like. Dot dot dot. And I hated myself for bothering you during lunch. I just thought it was my chance to be a good person. Like, to be nice and do the things you wrote about in the letter. I knew if I tried in the club, Sayori and Monica would be super annoying and make a huge deal out of it. You know... I think a lot of those negative things, too, about myself. I never felt like a good person. I always scrutinize everything I say, and later I feel like I said all the wrong things. And I just spend so much time thinking about myself, hating myself, and feeling like everyone else must hate me, too. So I understand some of that through my own experience and that's why I wanted to write the letter and express my feelings it pained me to see those things in someone else that I saw in myself mm, dot 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 Natsuki sniffles Yuri rustles through her bag and pulls out some tissues then hands them to Natsuki Monica told me that it takes a good person to reflect on those things. The desire to improve yourself, that makes you a good person, so don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people would like, so... Like what? Dot dot dot. Like... Like, how you're fun for people to be around, and you're not shy, and you know how to make people laugh. 
and you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead, and you care a lot about other people, and just a lot of things. Oh. Well, now you're making me feel really embarrassed. Well, you're the one who asked. And don't you think I feel embarrassed? Natsuki tries to hide a smile. Then she sighs as it fades again. Every time I come here, I always think it's the last time. But then I keep coming back for some reason. Is that bad? Mm, dot dot dot. Just really confusing. I mean... My friends and I go way back, so ditching them all the time feels like... I don't know. Feels like what? Natsuki's voice gets quiet. Maybe I'm scared that they'll get mad at me. Mm -hmm. I really don't know what to do. She pauses. Yuri stares into the distance. Tracing her eyes along the patterns of the floor tiles while she thinks to herself. What would you do, hypothetically, if your friends were happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for what? Happy that your new club is making you happy. Well, that's just not a fair hypothetical. Natsuki says that but with little confidence in her voice. I always told myself that I don't rely on the approval of others to be happy, and I still feel that way, but I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me feel so confused, because I'm threatened out of the thing that should make me happy. So no matter what, it's like I have to be unhappy to be happy. It's making my head hurt. That must make it really difficult to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you are. Mm, dot dot dot. It really goes against everything I believe in, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it! I'm fed up with a lot of things! Natsuki presses her palms into her forehead and shakes her head. I know what's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortably unhappy than it is to do something so scary. To do what? You know, uh, to end it. With them? Natsuki nods. I didn't think you were actively considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. It's just one of those things where, like, it's been a certain way for so long that you just get used to it. Like, so much of you has gone into it, so much that it feels like that's just how your life is. And throwing it away is like throwing away such a big part of your life. It makes me feel sick to think about. Natsuki sighs. It's just really scary. It's terrifying. What are you scared of? I don't know. A lot of things. Like being alone. Not having anyone to talk to or hang out with. Not being able to replace what I have with them. And I don't want them to hate me. And I'm scared they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? Not physically, but... Yuri clenches her fists. Natsuki. What? If anyone ever thinks to cause you harm... I will unleash hell upon them. Natsuki snorts in laughter. Don't laugh at me! <laughs> Sorry, I was just... I like that. That's all. Oh. Well, I meant it. 
I know you did. Natsuki gives Yuri an endearing look. I needed it. As the conversation lapses, Natsuki again slides her box of cupcakes over to Yuri. Just take them, okay? I don't... I don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? Natsuki nods. I'm sure. I will then. I'll enjoy them. Natsuki looks away, but a feeling of warmth spreads through her. She holds on to that feeling, knowing it will give her courage. Uh, you're here first today. Mm-hmm. And you brought reading material. Mm-hmm. Natsuki is sitting in her usual spot, this time holding a volume of manga while her lunch sits beside her. Yuri sits down as well and opens her own book. It sucks when a good series has to come to an end. Wow, that's uh, very much breaking the fourth wall since we're at the last chapter of the side stories. Like, it has such a big part of your life and then one day there's just nothing left. It makes you feel so empty. Unfortunately, I'm about to experience that myself. I'm on the last book of this series. That sucks. But there's also something satisfying about letting a story conclude. I don't know if I'd want to go on forever. Maybe. But there are some things I wish that I wish could. On the other thing on the other hand, have you ever read something that overstayed its welcome? Yeah, definitely. I can think of at least one thing I've read that got pretty unbearable like halfway through and the ending really sucked. So it sucks when something good has to end, but it also sucks when they just keep inventing more plot until you don't like it anymore. I guess it sucks either way. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the nature of all things. They come to an end. The two fall silent. They slowly eat while making their way through their respective reading material. Except Natsuki doesn't seem to be touching her food at all. You don't go out during the weekends, right? Excuse me? Like, with friends at the mall or downtown or whatever. I'm not a total shut-in, you know. Oh, my bad for making assumptions. Well, I'm sure I go out less often than other people, like you and the others in the club. I don't really meet with friends and arbitrarily spend time like that. I'm usually meeting with my board game group. Board game group? It doesn't matter, it's just more nerdy stuff. Why do you ask anyway? I was just curious. I just realized that I couldn't picture it, so I was just curious. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes that she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. Sorry. Natsuki pulls her knees into her chest and puts her head down. I can't take this. Did I do something? Yuri gets flustered, her mind racing over what she may have said or done. I did. I ended it. I texted them earlier telling them, and then I just blocked them because I'm so afraid of their responses. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh. That's... I'm sorry. Totally unsure of what to do, Yuri can barely find any words of support to offer. Meanwhile, the sound of Natsuki's usually hard breathing fills the air. Unusually hard breathing fills the air. Then she speaks again, barely above a whisper. Help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Please help. I can't take this. 
You may be having a panic attack. With that realization, Yuri's demeanor suddenly changes. I... I have experience with this, so... I'll help you through it, okay? Natsuki meekly nods through her rapid breath, head still buried in her knees. Yuri slides herself over to Natsuki and sits on the step behind her. Then she puts her hands on Natsuki's shoulders. Can't you feel my hands? Natsuki nods. Her shaking becomes much more apparent through Yuri's sense of touch. Yuri keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe right now. You're in a good and safe place where nothing can hurt you. Natsuki nods once more. Although Yuri is only touching Natsuki's shoulders, she can practically feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. We'll do a breathing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breaths and breathe along with me. Let's breathe in now. Yuri takes a deep, slow breath. Beneath her hands, she feels Natsuki's shoulders rise as Natsuki takes a breath of her own, trying to mimic Yuri. They exhale together, although Natsuki's breath shakes on the way out. That's good. Let's keep going. Yuri breathes in once more, and Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles, while Yuri closely monitors. Eventually, Yuri feels Natsuki rest more of her weight into Yuri's palms. Let's focus on the physical world. All you have to do is focus on the feeling of your breaths going in and out. And the weight of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe and comfortable physical space. Minutes pass in silence. By now, the worst of it has passed, but Yuri is determined not to move away until Natsuki prompts her to. Meanwhile, Natsuki has lifted her head off her knees, and her breathing has mostly steadied. Then, she takes a final deep breath, and slowly pulls herself to her feet, causing Yuri to let go. She stretches her arms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. I don't know what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. This must be enormously stressful for you. Is that going to keep happening? It may, or it may not. We can take measures to help prevent it in the future, but I think it will naturally get better over time. Natsuki motions to sit back down again, so Yuri moves over. Yuri turns away to pick up her open book from the dusty floor, which she had hastily set down earlier. She brushes the dust off the cover. I don't think I could have gotten through that alone. You're not alone. Feeling shy again, Yuri speaks into her own lap. From now on, you don't have to do anything alone. As she says that, Yuri tenses up. It's rare for her to openly share her thoughts, but something about Natsuki, of all people, makes it feel so much more natural to do so. Perhaps, because like Yuri, Natsuki is so timid and uncertain of herself. Natsuki does such a good job at hiding it, that it's taken a long time for Yuri to finally realize it. And because of that, Yuri is able to deliver the reassurance that she herself would have wanted, demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you, if you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the tumultuous journey of learning to love yourself. Aw, that is cute. Do you really mean that? You're probably going to regret saying that if you do. How so? Because I'm probably going to have a lot of free time during the weekends from now on. So you're giving me permission to be as annoying as I want and drag you around to a lot of places. I see. 
But you already said it, so you can't take it back now. Ah, uh, well, I suppose I have no choice but to accept that responsibility then. Mm-hmm. I know a good ice cream place. Oh? That means you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? The first day that you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor, but for me, you said you had no idea. Seriously? I don't remember that at all. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. I said it was probably green tea. Yuri shakes her head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Chocolate and raspberry? How fancy. How is that fancy? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I should have guessed something like that. Well, maybe next time I'll try chocolate and strawberry. Hey, strawberry is my favorite. Hmm, what a coincidence. I think it helps to have something to look forward to. I still have this sick feeling in my stomach. But it's easier now to convince myself that I did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of. There's nothing that will make this easy for me. And you already did more than I thought anyone could. Hmm. Come to think of it, we never talked about the letter you wrote. But I feel like we're way past that at this point. I don't even know what to talk about. Except that I think it helped me understand my needs a little bit better. The way I like to be treated. And the kinds of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place. Even though I was so scared of causing more problems. I thought... I thought it was a coincidence that you ran into me, into me here initially. Oh, uh, well, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. I, I may have tracked you down first. With the help of Sayori. That's... But you said... I was shy, okay? I wasn't ready to, like... Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm glad that you worked up the courage. Even if it was in your own way. I can tell that you've been making a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave and... It will make things better in the long run. I think anyone would be proud of you for it. Anyone? You mean, like, you? Yes, like me. You know, I could get used to this. As long as... As long as you don't tease me too much. Fine. Just a little then. That's fine. I know how uncertain everything feels to you right now. But I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks. It feels nice to be reassured. The two girls continue their conversation through the remainder of lunch. But a new feeling hangs in the air. A feeling of greater certainty in their path forward. In just a few hours, there will be another literature club meeting 
where the four club members will happily spend time together. Each of them, all with their own special qualities, have something unique that they can deliver to one another. Through friendship and literature, the club members will continue to grow and find new happiness together. The end of each chapter is the start of the next. Yuri thinks to herself, since she's about to finish her long-running series, it would be best to have a new book lined up. Perhaps this weekend would be a good time to visit the bookstore. Together. Ooh, alrighty, let's see what pictures we unlocked. There we go. That is definitely the uh, thumbnail for this episode. I didn't pick one for last episode yet, but if you're watching the VOD, you already saw it. That's already been completed. And oh my, what do we have here? Finish all side stories. Monica looking lovely. Ooh la la, beautiful. Alright, yeah, that's all promos done. We've just got one sketch and two CGs left, and we are done with pictures. But, as you can see here, we unlocked something new. Equals. But that is for next time. Alrighty, see you later. Uh, please do all the uh, YouTube and social media stuff. Like, follow, subscribe, share, comment, all that. Uh, check me out on Twitch, YouTube, Rumble, Odyssey, and Kick. And definitely check out the uh, referral links in the description. On that note, see you later. Bye-bye.